Hello and welcome to Melossa, a unique YouTube channel where you'll find tons of interesting and unique canine content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment on any of our videos. The Boar Bowl of South Africa has an interesting history. It is said that when Jan van Riebeck came to the Cape in 1652, he brought his own dog to protect him and his family in this wild and unknown country. This dog was a bull and bitchter, a large and heavy mastiff type of dog. The settlers who came after Jan van Riebeck also brought along their strongest dogs to protect them against all the unknown dangers of this land. Thus, dogs arrived from many different countries. As the pioneers moved further and further inland and settled on remote farms, the dogs were forcibly isolated and a lot of inbreeding took place which resulted in the characteristics of the original Assyrian dog started to reappear. Survival was of the utmost importance and it was here that the hardiness of today's Bourbon was bred into the dog. During the Groot Trek, starting in 1838, the Bourbon had most of the features that it has today and is clearly recognisable from old drawings. In the period after the trek, on the distant farms, the Boar Bowl inbred further and only the biggest and strongest dogs survived. The Boar Bowl masters required a dog to be a friend of the family, a worker and to provide protection. They could not afford to have a disobedient, moody, finicky, sickly dog. They had to be able to rely on him to protect the family and to work. At the turn of the century, the characteristics of the old, original dog were clearly visible, and the dog was generally known as the Bowl. The years that followed brought tragedy to Boar Bowl. Urbanization caused crossbreeding with anything that could bark, and the typical Bowl started to disappear. The Englishmen brought their bulldogs and mastiffs to South Africa, and some of these dogs were bred into the Bull Bull population. Later in the late 1940s and early 1950s, Bull Mastiffs were bred with Bull Bulls. This is a known fact with the farmers from the Northeastern Free State, Northern KwaZulu Natal, and some parts of Transvaal. It was only in the 80s that a serious search started again for the original farm dog. Janny Bauer of Bedford and Lucas van der Voer of Kruistad set out on a search for the original boar dog. Covering 5,500 kilometers, 250 dogs were seen, but only 72 selected to be registered. Selective breeding started, many disappointments followed, but also immense joys. At last, the dog of the old South African pioneers was ready to be registered as a pure breed. Today, the Boar Bowl has many admirers all over the world. The breed has gained much popularity outside of South Africa, and many exports from South Africa have found their way to USA. And Northern Europe are the areas outside of South Africa where the popularity of the Boar Dog is greatest. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.